Oh boy. Oh no. The rod's cork. There's a fish. Oh, oh my guys, goodness. Oh camera. my goodness. There's a fish on it. Bring a camera. That was madness. Can you believe that? No, oh, that's huge. We got her. Oh baby, look at this trout. The madness. The madness. Look at this. Good morning from Baker's Narrows Lodge. Uh, we've done a little bit of everything this trip. Some big lake trout, it's a backcountry adventure. The cool thing about Bakers is you can kind of do the trip however you want, fish for whatever you want. You can be guided, you can be unguided. You can get a cabin with meals, you can cook for yourself. You can take your own side by side, you can rent a snowmobile, or you can take this machine that we're about to take out. And we got special privileges. I don't think this is normally rented out. Typically you gotta hire a guide to take this thing out, but we were taking out the van of all vans on the ice. We'll show you. We're loading up. We are going lake trout fishing today. Look at this thing. <laughs> the van. There she is. <laughs> oh, welcome to the Thunderdome. All right. We're off. We got Daryl Gilbert in the back. Another guy that makes YouTube videos at Baker's, if you want to check him out. We also got Josh. We got Keith behind the camera. And I don't know where we're going, but uh, what do you call this thing? The track truck? The snow van. Josh, how was that ride? Oh man, it's not bad. It's actually pretty smooth. It's just tight on the legs because the Cause got a lot of are... stuff. Yep, the old Baker's Mobile. Lake Athapapascal, where we got a we had a poor day lake trout fishing the other day, so we got to try to redeem ourselves. Yeah, we got to make it up for the other day. The other day was kind of slow. Just kidding. It's been spectacular. I'd, maybe I'll catch a big trout. Who knows? That's what I want. One of there. You know that guy? You recognize that guy from Uncle Mark's Outpost? We got Mr. Noah, the face. Where are them foolers at? Thank you. Okay, I got chum, I got a bubbler, I got a scoop. I got a jolly jumper. All right, getting our first deadline of the morning. Definitely the coldest day yet. I just broke off on one. Broke off on one? Yeah. Decent mark? It's big. Really? Still marking it. Josh, tell me what's going on. Oh man, I just broke off. You actually broke off? Broke off it's on crazy. a freaking big mark, and now I just dropped a rattle bait down, and I don't know. Is that him there? Yeah. I don't have any rods even remotely. Oh, this one I can put something on. What do you have on now, rattle bait? Yeah. Is he still there? He's still here. On. That looks heavy. It's not that big. Josh is hooked up. We haven't even finished setting our lines yet. The old track truck. Oh my mission. God. All right, we got the bump board. We got my I don't think it's that hookouts. Big. First fish of the day, baby. Baker's and arrows. Okay, I think we're close. I think it's gonna be small. I can see white. Okay. That's a decent fish. I just don't want to put my hand in there right now. She's hooked good. Let's just let her. Oh, no, she's not hooked good. Okay, we got her. Oh, barely got oh, her. Oh, man. That's a nice fish. First of the day. All right, rattle baits out. There you go. There it is. Well, it was marking gigantic, but it's still a nice fish. 30 inch? Just beautiful. Yeah. Pretty. I don't see my other. Lure in there. So maybe it was a bigger one. There could have been a bigger one. All right, it's cold. Slatter back. Did you want to touch your fish? You want to keep no, your no. gloves on? You'll... Yeah, yeah. One I mean, second. I'm cold. There we got oh. it. A little slime on the snaz. All right, well, that's a good start to the day. We we're fishing a big 60 foot flat. This is a big, big reef, kind of 90 feet off either side. I was setting a couple big baits on the bottom, and Josh uh, proved that there's fish here. There's a truck. There's a couple, uh, 
couple more down there that I saw. Still. And look at this truck behind us. Just giant. Shout out Noah, our guy. Dedicate that truck to Noah Messner. All right, I'm gonna go set that second dead sick. You just keep catching them, okay, Josh? Okay. And I'll cook them. Well, that's good, good start. Nice photo fish with the boys. Look at that track truck. So that is an option for transportation. They got sled rentals. You can rent that thing. Obviously you need a driver. It's a bit of an exception. They let me drive today, but we had Daryl the guide along so I wouldn't get myself into trouble. But yeah, two set lines. Then we'll get the live scope rolling, do some jigging, do some chumming. Uh, here's a rod, Keevan. This one's 20, Mr. Big. Okay, Keevan. No, no, I'll get you started. What do you want, a big rattle bait? Yeah, a big rattle bait guy. Actually, I'm just like. I got a big, big old tantrum. I just love rattle baits. Holy, that's that's the 100 millimeter. Perfect. Yeah, I thought this would be good. We got a fish there. Is that the chum? Yeah, that's big. No, there's a big fish down there. Oh, oh look at this! Look at this! Holy smokes! <laughs> that is unreal. That fish is two feet long. Maybe longer. Oh, he wants that rattle bait. That was crazy to see it come darting oh, across darting. like that. He's still there. He's I know, that's it. Right? That's it. Oh, look at this look one at coming that. up. That looks bigger. This is a cool perspective. Holy Toledo. Oh, here he comes. Look at that other one. Though. Look at the fish. <laughs> I'm getting frantic. Oh, that's not small. Oh, Keevan. Two of them. <laughs> Are you recording on the Oh, box? we're rolling. Everything's rolling. I was really hoping you'd catch one of those. Your lure's marking really big. I guess we're in, yeah. in 60. Oh, no, your... oh, that is a giant. 30. Dude, that's a giant. 30. Oh, man. If we hook this fish. Dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, Keevan. Oh, fellas. Oh, fellas. Oh, man. Is that a big fish? There's a... There are things happening There's today. a lot of fish down there. Wow. And they're coming high. I don't I'm, I don't normally see them cruise high like that. Like, oh, that okay. is good. Whew. You can jig in the middle hole, Josh. It'd be hilarious when we catch one. <laughs> Why not? We'll get tangled, I feel. It'll be funny. We got three people <laughs> fishing. I don't even know what's a fish anymore. We're going to for sure tangling. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a disaster when we catch a big one. All right, we were set up. We got two dead baits. We did some chumming. I think we're gonna catch one. Josh caught that one to start off the day. Clayton's filming a video, you know, 400 yards away. Um, some of the other guys are fishing 400 yards the other way. We're in the uh, Eskimo 650. This is the one I use the most probably. The flip overs are nice, but for trout fishing, it's nice to be able to move around, fish with a super long rod, and just you t tend to bring a little more gear. So this is the one I use for ice camping. This is the one I use for laker fishing. There's so yeah. much floor space in these. Yeah. And then we just got two dead sticks out there, two deadlines with the bubblers running. Had some good activity. Daryl, look at that big one. Woo! Everybody, go, go! Where's that fish going? What is that? Keep going, keep going! Who's <laughs> catching this? Get <laughs> down, get down. <laughs> it's so funny how this just looks like some dumb Atari game. <laughs> Who's gonna connect the dot? He probably thinks it's a full school. It's like an Alabama rig down there. <laughs> yeah, the, the the range of view on a live scope is just it changes your perspective on how the fish interact. And I just thought that it was like a one vertical column down there that they would just only go up and down on. Nah, man. <laughs> probably not. Oh, this one. Look at this. This fish is engaged. Oh, that looks long. What's Jake on his again? Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh. Are you seeing one? Oh boy. Yeah. Big one. Yeah. Should I come running? He's on. On you? No. Oh boy. Oh, 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 he liked that in the mud. Oh, 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 oh yeah, he's gone. Oh, this fish. Oh my gosh. Yes. On. What? We're on. You big one? I don't think so. You got one? Yeah, that was a cool cheese. That was amazing. Oh, it's coming pretty fast, eh? Oh, look at the bubbles it blew. It's insane. He's right here, right? Here, I'm gonna grab the camera. Good job, team. I leave for a second. Oh, oh, that hook was stuck on the ice. He's not big. That, oh, that hook is stuck on the ice. Nice. I want the, oh, yeah, be careful. Be careful. All right, I wanna see a tail hold, Keevan, with that bait sticking out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Rattle bait eater. Check that out. That was cool. Yeah, like he screamed up. I went up probably 20, 25, 30 feet. He chased me straight up. Good job, buddy. Nice. Crazy, aggressive, Blake Athapapaskel. Hopefully a good sign. Lakers, and he... Woohoo! 
boop, boop, boop. Man, it's such a cool catch though. Yeah, like to see him scream up like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. And like the monstrous tantrum. Like, look at yeah, this. Yeah, like he didn't want the other stuff. The big this, boy. Look at the size of that. So good, show me the rod. You got Mr. Big? I got a Mr. Big, 43 inch, heavy. For big Cuban size fish. All right, we're gonna keep going. I was just checking the set lines. Um, no action yet, but that's, we got big, big Cisco's laying out. So yeah, we, we may not get many flags, but we're fishing for a big one. So that's two trout on the board so far today. Uh, the sun's out. We haven't had the sun in the last couple of days. So that might be changing things, but we thought about sliding deeper, but it feels like the fish are still moving through, so. That last fish just did everything you wanted to try. Oh, it was so perfect. Like darted back and forth from uh, bait to bait. Man, that's exciting. Oh, big fish up top. Oh my, I was just changing the reel, but I'm not gonna. Oh, that fish wants it. Speeding. Oh, oh my, my god. Should I be filming? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> that happened so fast. It's small fish? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I was not ready on the camera there. <laughs> I couldn't believe how fast that thing just came. Another one on the rattle bait for Keevan. That's a small dark one. That looks like a hook in the hand to me. That was the most engaged fish. The hemostats are right there. Show me. Another one on the rattle bait. The 100 millimeter tantrum is not too big for a small trout, clearly. <laughs> Look at this little guy. <laughs> Josh is Josh is going to do a little cooking. We're not sure when, but we're going to keep this guy for eating. Yeah, right? We'll yeah. keep him? Yeah, we'll keep him. That was a streak regardless. across from like like literally 30 feet straight to the lure. Just Amazing. Fast. <laughs> oh. Well, um, we're a little foggy here. It's been uh, it's been a kind of a slow morning. We still got those two big dead baits soaking out there. Uh, Keevan caught a couple of the biggest fish of the day so far. Still that one Josh caught. But the thing is those big baits at any point can go off. Uh, we'll do a little more, a little more jigging. Active. Active seems to be doing it so far. Oh. Oh yeah, there he is. Let's get him. Get him, Keevan. See if he'll come. Where's my bait? It's not. Oh yeah, well, it's, it's not tiny. tiny. Things are. One second, we'll zoom in close, Josh. There you go. You can see his lips open. Yep. Pound in the mud. Ooh. Oh. yep. Yep. Yeah, less is more. Oh man, fish isn't super tiny. Like it's a thirty incher. Oh. Oh. Someone's gonna catch this fish. I'll throw a handful of chum down. Get him confused. He no, he go. wants it in the mud, Josh. He oh, this is it. He roof. did it! <laughs> the whole rod just stays oh, up there. Pulls the roof down. Whew. We got Marcel yeah, behind the camera. The rattle bait has been well, the That tantrum's killing him today. That is the hot bait. I'll just unhook him right away. It's here. I can just pinch onto your line. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, all right. Is. Maybe I'll get a rattle bait in the face. Oh yeah, another medium. They are chowing that. Rattle bait out of the mud. Oh, okay. Okay, we got hooks. We got a lot of hooks. Just pull. There you go. Thanks, buddy. We got her. Another tantrum to the face. They just kind of slap at it. Another run for Captain Kevin. The old tantrum. Good night. This one can be. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, almost kissed you. The one day, a 30 inch. Think he wants to go? Well, I guess we'll need a new camera lens now. Yep, that's okay. I'll test anything for a 28 inch trope. So this, obviously can work a lot of ways. Sometimes, as you saw, they come and scream up and eat it halfway up the water column. Other times, just pounding in the mud. And uh, this thing makes a lot of noise and it's caught the most fish today. Yeah. Actually, you're, you caught yours on a rattle bait too on a smaller one. I did. That's been the top performer. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Lake trout. That's amazing. What does that go back and forth? It's like a reflection on your lure. What is that? That's a fish turn. No, you? it's not. Yeah, Every it time Josh jigs. Yeah. No, it's a big one. No, what? <laughs> Maybe you guys are tangled. Do you ever think about that? <laughs> Maybe we are. Oh. Here we go. You're getting an interview type of thing? Yeah. Oh, there's two rolling in here. I cannot tell what's going on. I can't see mine. We might catch one of these. I just got a feeling. Nice mark on the left, yeah. <coughs> oh, I just missed him. No, hold on, we're tangled now for sure. Because I felt you do that. Come on, Josh! Yeah. yeah. I got a fish. Oh, wow. This feels very heavy, you should definitely reel your slack up. Do you actually have a fish? No. I don't know. 
Why is there so much weight? <coughs> it's just dragging. Are you sure? It's dragging water. Are we going through the deuce or something? Why is it so heavy? Oh, I'm tangled tuna. What the heck? Oh no, tuna. What on earth? What's There's all that yellow lines line? in here? What's that yellow line? My tip up. Did a fish run the tip up line over here? Go look out the window. This one's not up. Well, what else is it? It's got to be that far tip up. There's, there's no other way that this. No. No, but the, the, yeah. Or old line from before? No. Is which should we go to the tip up? I think. Well, we need to cut this. I need a knife or something. I'm pretty sure. Keep um, asking. No scissors. Should we need to cut this ASAP. Right the, I think. Is there a fish on there? I think so. We well, don't need know. to cut anywhere. This? Right there. Yeah. Okay. So this one's out. And then yours is potentially in here, Josh. I'm just gonna let it go right now. Well, I can pull it back up through mine. Like th there, yeah. Just, just be careful. Let's go check that one. Okay, my tip, because that's the only yellow line that I have is that far rod. Okay, wait. There, I see the line here. I think the rod's down. The hold on to that yellow line. Do you have it still? Yeah. Yeah. I think the rod's gone. The rod's corked. Oh my goodness. There's a fish. Oh, oh my guys, goodness. Bring a oh camera. my goodness. There's a fish on it. Bring a camera. Jay oh. just pulled it. Oh, he's got the rod. He's got you. Wait, Jay! Open your bail! Open your bail. Cut, grab the scissors. Should I just cut this? Okay. Is he just fighting you? So thing. Oh, your lure's gone. <laughs> he's, no, he was just fighting you. What is going on? Can someone bring a camera? Grab yeah. Camera. Okay. It was at the knot. It was at the knot. Rod just loaded. Might have a big fish here. We laid a big Cisco on the bottom. Fish hasn't done too much. That was madness. Can you believe that? That is the craziest thing. All of a sudden, so we're fishing there. We get tangled. We see yellow line. I'm like, no one in the shack is fishing with yellow line. And it was this rod and it was at the knot. Rod loaded. This is a big fish. This is a heavy into, fish. You're gonna run into an issue? With Josh's line? Sorry, you should have maybe just cut the line. What do you think? Oh, you did, good, good. But the lure was tangled in it? So you're gonna get to a point where the lure's gonna come out? That's fine. Wow, dude, this fish is giant. Oh yeah, I can just feel tail kicks, it's huge. This is a giant. Oh boy. I don't know if I'll be able to reel it in or not. Do you think you can get it out or should we just hand bomb it? Hey, watch out. We gotta keep this bale open. Nightmare. All right, we're hand bombing. No, things are good. This is a big fish, guys. I'm happy, the fish just hooked good. Get ready to open the bale. Yeah. I just don't want that hook in the hand. This is a giant fish. Watch out, watch out. That's the scariest thing right there. Well, it's not wrapped that bad. You might be able to get it out. This might be my biggest laker through the ice. I think my biggest is like 36 and a half. This fish is huge. This fish is giant. I'm glad I got heavy line, and that fish is probably hooked very good. I have yet to catch an athapap. Brandon caught a big one. Matt caught a big one. Now we're at 40, 60 feet away. That's That was marked at the bottom. So I know we're, we're about 60 feet away. Don't ask questions. <laughs> the fish didn't flip the flag. He grabbed the bait and he ran all the way to the shack and tangled our lines. I come over here, all my line's gone, and it's at the knot with the rod just corked. We're gonna be close to the floral soon. <laughs> this is wild. I've never had anything like this happen before. I don't think this fish is getting off. I mean, oh, I just took the, I'm at the leader. Yeah, don't worry about it at this point. I got a 30 pound leader here. Oh, this fish is so heavy. Oh my goodness, this is a giant. This is very likely my biggest laker through the ice. This is our third day at Athapap, our final day, Baker's Narrows Lodge. And uh, we are laying big baits out. Big Cisco on the bottom. We knew this wouldn't be a high numbers deal. Oh, she's close, guys. It's stuck in the ice. I need something to push it down. I need the rod or the bump board. Something right now. That's fine. It's just that knot is the scariest use, thing right uh, now. You could use this, this the via that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? that's fine. No, yeah, that, that's perfect. Thank you, that's great. The thing that scares me right now is that you need a uni knot. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, her head's right there. Oh, 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 oh. We got her. Oh, baby, look at this trout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. That I'm pretty certain is my biggest laker through the ice. What an ordeal. 
we just went through. Okay, I'm gonna hold that fish in the ice. I got the long hemostats here. It is a little colder outside, so we wanna be careful. All right, I'm gonna throw on the bump board. We're keeping her in the water. It is a little colder outside. There we go, baby. 40, almost Yeah, 44. 40, 40 and three quarters. Wow, okay, I'm putting her in the water. We'll give you one more look at this hog. We're doing one more lift. 40 and three quarters, my biggest laker through the ice. Ah, this is spectacular. What a way to end the trip. <laughs> Oh, yes, oh, yes. All right, I'm shaking. All right, minimal time out of the water. That fish had a long fight. Look at that tail. Some would say it fills a 10 inch hole. Yeah! I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That was stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, wow. Madness, the madness, look at this. Right there, that's how we're ending the trip. Baker's Narrows Lodge. That's sticking it out for a big bite. We didn't, we didn't struggle. Thank you team, that was a team effort.